Paramahansa Yuganandji came to the USA almost 100 years ago. How did Western world change as a result of that action? Do you think Master Yoganandji had a plan in 1920 right at the start? Or that he took it one day at a time once he got here? How can we repay him for what he did here? The world has undergone a big change. I will tell first with coming of Swami Vivekananda. He planted the seed and the masters after Swami Vivekananda, whoever came like Paramahansa Yoganandji, they watered and make this plant grow big. Paramahansa Yoganandji was the first Indian yogi who came and accepted West as his home and started living here, not just coming and teaching something and going back, no. It was not his plan he came, as you asked in the question, did he have a plan when he came? It was the master's plan. It was not his plan. You just think, if you read the life of masters of Kriya Yoga, Sri Lahidi Mahasaya's role it was planned, executed, supervised by Babaji. It was not his plan. It was Babaji's plan to get this work done and he got it done through Lahidi Mahasaya. In the same way, if you think Sri Yukteswarji, Yoganandji and so on, it is not the plan of that individual yogi or individual master, it is the master's plan working through them. Just you think, if you consider what Yoganandji wrote in Autobiography of Yogi, is a very humble expression of facts. Before coming to West, he had all this vision, what is going to happen. It was not his plan. Having the vision of Mount Washington, you know, the headquarter, it was revealed to him. Masters revealed many things to him. This is going to happen. That is to happen. So it was the master's plan in which he became an instrument to fulfill it. If it would have been his plan to do something, for example, he could, and with his strong willpower, you know, Yoganandji had very strong willpower from his childhood. If he wanted to get something done, he used to get it done. You have read that he wanted to have boil, and he had this boil in the body next day. So, if he would have to, really used his willpower to escape and be a monk in the Himalayas, he could have become, none, none could have stopped. But it was not the plan of the masters. The plan of the masters was to make him or build him up so that he should come to West and do this work. What did he do? My question is, what he has not done? We sitting here is his plan. You will tell, is it so? There is no doubt. When he came, he brought a complete spiritual transformation in the traditional orthodox mind of people 
and he through his name of him people came to when he came to know about his name people came to know about yoga and he's the one who exhibited the beauty of yoga i'm not telling yoga as yogic exercises body gymnastic he soared through his practical living yoga as a means of spirituality human transformation is baba ji told sri jukteswar ji write a book holy signs he wrote a book but through yoganand ji the masters created a master to bring east to west and make a beautiful union union of east and west he came here he lived here there is a book it was published in 1930 the title of the book is little funny hinduism invades america in 1930 this author is writing one chapter on yoganand ji complete one chapter in 10 years of his stay how much he impacted in the life of american people during those days can anybody imagine when he was traveling cross country and delivering talks and taking classes sometimes people in thousands 5000 people in program during those days and perhaps it was he so yoganand ji brought it really good sense and not only good sense you see the difference between if you compare vivekananda came and just opened the door what you think of india is not that india india is something unique and special and he just in one line he brought this sense when he was addressing the parliament of world's religion he he was not an invited delegate to deliver a talk and perhaps while addressing just he told my brothers and sisters of america this much my brothers and sisters while others are talking of ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen has a distance when i came to west 25 years ago and i landed in vienna where english is not a language people of usually spoke and in german they have different forms of eu as we do in india in india we have three forms of eu eu in three forms with respect or <coughs> with equality to youngers three forms of you three ways to use it when you speak with respect there is a distance however vivekananda opened the door and yogananda ji came with this understanding he said the beauty of vedic thought in india and you see when yogananda ji came with the message of the masters and especially kriya yoga it has nothing to do with any religion it is the essence of all it is not just in talk but in practice also yogananda ji demonstrated his teachings its writings how can we repay him for what he has done for us it is up to you the masters do not expect anything from us except our real change 
in our attitude in our behavior in our lifestyle in our words in every way are we really changing the way the masters want that's all they don't want you do this build a big memorial do th- nothing they want to change our own selves to be really b- better person that all if you are a disciple you will know who is my guru or not if you are a disciple instead of searching for masters qualify yourself to be a disciple taking initiation doesn't mean that you have become a disciple or the masters have accepted you as the disciple yes you are initiated initiation is just entrance if you study again life of yogananda ji he learned the meditation technique little from his father he learned from shastri mahasoy hamsa swami kebalananda and it took years to find sri jukteswar ji often what happens we think i will find master i'll how to find master i will tell the same example from yogananda's life dickinson his name is dickinson whom vivekananda told that your guru is coming and he will be yogi and so on if you have read autobiography of yogi you might have read it he was a teenager boy young man he came to yogananda ji he was practicing kriya yoga but he didn't accept him as guru the day he gave him that silver cup the thing is be humble practice yourself you will feel a student has to recognize the guru and it takes time for the student if you find somewhere something good practice it practice with love